It will be the Ooh. jacks into the volley bay. All right here. Okay, Jax, they have the side lane threat too. Jax plus Galio, really powerful inside. Similar is vulnerable, and what, Impact's still fighting. He yeah, saw this guy running for 30 seconds. Now, no access to the ultimate, no flash available either, but neither do Bin and Angel. Counter-Strike will be able to land the stun as well as the taunt. Impact dies for first blood. Jensen completes the TP. He's looking for the unleashed power, will land it onto Bin, but he won't find the kill just yet. Dark Sphere finally picks it up. One for one, right. but they lost more than they needed to. Trevor, Trevor, here's the thing, though, is that look at jungle and look at Bob. Okay, Sordot's yep. got access to the Solar Flare. There's a dive being set up. Again, look at the number of minions that are being denied. Tactical, forced to cleanse, forced to flash. Core JJ doing the same. He's running away. Winds of War may just be enough to do the tick, to do the kill, to do the damage. Core JJ's down. Invade as Jensen will be walking over, but the blue buff is taken away, and Jensen are tactically stuck underneath the tower. Juan Fung will get the cash in. 523 on that one. We waited 10 minutes for it. Sooning have it, and now it is all of LPL teams kind of flip it in bot lane because, like, how much stronger SOFM is, how much stronger their bot lane is. Like, they would yeah. bring the Nidalee down to, like, force the dive really hard. SOFM says, nah, we can just take the dragon. Your guys are going to get the plate anyways. We see Brox. With time. the amount of damage they've got, Ability to swap between. Team Liquid are really moving up here. They want to fight. No flash order. Very bold. SOFM as the Javelin Toss holding on to it very patiently. Solar Flare comes down to Tactical Sword Arts going very, very low. Sidestep for Wes. One Fung is being exhausted and continues to oh, use because it. It's been really hard for him to find a free lane to farm. And now that Suning are grouped up around that objective, he can get the waves for free. But at what cost? Dragon secured. Mid outer secured. Bin is leaving the bottom lane potentially for a dive. Rift Herald yeah. used as well. So, okay, yes, Tactical has got some farm, but look at the bigger picture is how much further the team could afford. Sooning are still winning, don't get me wrong, but there's oh, no yes. other option for TL because Tactical didn't have ult. It's just now coming back up. Core JJ lost it because they put everything onto Sword Art. They were always going to lose down here, so even the small wins, like, that is just the only possible close to winning play TL have there. 6,000 gold the difference. Three on the old Nidalee here, especially when you're super fed early on because you get a lot of the stats you want to buy and it's really Age hard. Is body blocking. And Fung is going to continue to hammer away with those spinning axes. Dragon will reset. Now Core JJ stepping up, trying to get some vision in the pit. TL do have a ward inside the pit, which is going to be very valuable, and they're pressing forward. It's down to 3,000 HP. Brock to once again to the pit for a seal. It's low. He's going to go for the steal. Not going to be able to pick it up. Soon he get the Ocean Soul. The Whirling Death flies across Team Liquid. One Fung steps forward. Can't find the kill just yet because SOFM. That takes down Core JJ. Finally, Impact goes down. That Draven's hand. On and the despite hunt. Ben's going to be able to chase him down. If they spot him, should they fully aware. Can he do it? Hold your breath. Can he do it? Oh! Jensen, he was the guy. We just started talking about him. We haven't given him too much spotlight. Hello. They're going to find one fun. So much damage coming out. He stays alive long enough for a few seconds. Scout of the week. Jensen's not going to be able to 900 make 900 gold. Gets 900 gold. Do you believe in miracles? Brox is trying to find Sword Art, and he simply cannot do it. For the next fight, but Bin is pushing bot. They're looking for the pick. All right, Bin's going to get jumped on for now. Here comes the entrance. As Who's looking for who? He'll jump in, and that's a retreat from Impact. Sword Art, no Solar Flare available to him, but Zenith Play could come up. Jensen steps forward, Ultimate's a few seconds away. He could look for the kill, but Angel Natural's is down. going to be able to find the damage. Tactical is out. It's going to have to be on Jensen to do something magical. Chucks everything he has at Bin, and it simply doesn't matter. 35 second death time. Tactical lost everything in the last fight, so Suning continue to force Brock to his respawn, though, but Suning still in the base looking for the inhibs. Angel is going to be able to thwart the follow-up engage onto Bin. SOFM and the rest of Suning will take out the bottom lane inhibitor. The middle lane inhibitor is exposed, and it's one minute to Elder. That's a knock-up onto Bin, and all of a sudden... Team Liquid don't have vision inside the pit. Do you believe in miracles? Because that is what Team Liquid need right now. They cannot get through their jungle. They cannot get into the pit. They can't do it. They cannot get close for a steal. Or JJ is going to... Team Liquid it. have one final chance to hold on to their Nexus. No summoners on tactical. Jensen has the flash available. Some damage landing onto Bin. Counter-Strike will dissuade further follow-up. One Fung steps forward, starts autoing the tower. That's a stun onto Tactical. He gets caught by Whirling Death, but isn't sentenced to it. Not going to find a Sonic Wave. Brox is not going to find the impact. Impact's not going to find the kill. He's blown up as Core JJ underneath the tower. A dash forward onto Tactical as Angel is on a rampage. Bin gets another, and Impact runs for his life. You cannot stop Draven from Sooning, and they take down Team Liquid. Zooming in that game, just from start to finish, the